Ciao friends! Both with Thimblehooks. Today's project is we're going to make a mosaic granny square. And it might look a little bit difficult. Like how on earth do you get all those swirly colors? So I did this one in yellow and I did this one backwards. It started with white. This one started with the yellow and this one this one is a mandala. I think this might have been Pegasus. All the different shades of orange. So I just love how this looks. This is one of my favorite grannies. I think we're going to have a lot of fun making this today and you're going to be shocked how easy it is. You're going to make a whole bunch of them and make some awesome little blanket or throw or something for someone for Christmas. Some lucky person is going to get one of these. I think it's gorgeous. So what I'm going to do, see so this one this one is extra large because it has two more rounds than this one does and then this one does. The yellow, the one that's mostly yellow that I just made here. This I used a four millimeter hook. This is the exact same yarn with a five millimeter hook. So you can decide how big you want your squares to be just as easy as adjusting a hook from a four to a five. You can make bigger or smaller. All of these are Karen Simply Soft right here. I'm going to use white and off-white and I believe this is baby oh baby sunshine and sunshine I'm going to use all four of these colors to get this gorgeous square so where we start is with white let's get going we're going to start in the middle and work our way out we're going to start with white all right since the first time I made this one Look, that's mostly yellow here on the outside. I made this one with a four millimeter hook. This time I'm going to make it with a five so we can see what the actual difference is in the way it looks. And this is my five millimeter, my fancy schmancy. I love this Addy. This is a great hook. So we're going to start out. I'll move that off to the side so you can still see where we're going. Start in the middle and work our way out with all our different shades of yellow. And we're going to start with the magic circle. If you're not familiar with a magic circle, I have a really fast tutorial. It's only a couple minutes long and you can do it the easy peasy way. This is so simple. Working into our magic circle, chain three and two double crochet. So that first chain three counts as a double crochet. So there's one granny cluster right there. I'm going to chain two and do three double crochet in our magic circle. There's one, two, and three. Two clusters, chain two, three more double crochets in our magic circle or a magic ring. One, and three. We want to chain two. Do one more cluster of three double crochet. One, two, and three. And then we can pull our ring closed. So we get the start of our little granny square. One, two, three corners. So we have to finish this corner. So that's another chain two. And then we want to slip stitch into the top of our third chain right in here. Just a slip stitch. So there we go. Now we have our four corners. One, two, three, four. Now the way that I have made my square, I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to turn my work around so I can work into this corner without having to cut my yarn or do any weird slip stitching or any of those things. So there's our first double crochet. I'm going to do two more into that corner. Chain one and three double crochet in this corner. Chain 
chain two in between and do another cluster. So in that corner was just a typical granny square of three double crochets, a chain two, and three more double crochets in that same corner. We're going to continue that all the way around. Chain one and do another corner, which is three double crochets. A chain two and three more double crochets. That will be our sequence for making a corner every time. Chain one in between and now we're going to do our another corner. One, two, three, chain two and another cluster. Two, three, chain one, and now we have to finish this cluster over here. So we're going to do three double crochets in that corner. And chain two, and then slip stitch into the top of our third chain. So cute! Now our tail is in the front, we'll just pull it nice and tight. And at this point we can change colors. Because we're only going to do two rounds of each color. So I did two rounds of white. That was the very first section and then now this in the corner. So I'm going to fasten this off any way you want. We are going to move on to off-white. And we're going to use that for the next two rounds. So anywhere you want to start, start in a corner. Now going forward, this is how I like to do it. This first one, it doesn't show very much, but I like to do this. We're going to slip into a corner and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to put three double crochets, a nice little granny cluster, in that corner. One, two, three. So I did. So chain five here and three double crochets. Chain one. I'm going to do one double crochet. And here's how you get that really cool look of these blending colors. I'm going to do a triple crochet, which is two yarn overs, and go down into the center of the previous, the very first round. One two, three double crochets. We want to go around that middle post, the second, with a triple crochet. So there's one and two, and now in back in this chain space again, we want to put our third stitch, which is a double crochet. So we went all the way down here to our very starting place and did a triple crochet around this post. And it just blends these colors. This is so fun. And it works up really fast too. It's extra fun. So chain one. Always chain one in between. And we'll go into our corner and do a normal corner, which is three double crochets, a chain two, and another set of three. chain one and we'll move over to this chain space right here and do a double crochet and a triple in that one that's straight down from it right here so easy and then back in our chain space behind here another double crochet so we still have a granny cluster just one of them is a triple crochet going all the way down to the middle chain one and another corner. 
chain one in the chain space is a double and then a triple into the cluster bolt straight below it around that front post of the center stitch and then a double crochet behind. We're still using three stitches in each one of these. We're just going down a little bit. Chain one, another corner. Chain one, one more time. In that chain space, it's a double crochet, a front post triple crochet right here. And then in our chain space behind is a double and a chain one. Now we're back to our beginning corner. Remember I did a chain five and then three double crochets. So what we really did was a, sing a double crochet our chain two and three. Three double crochets. So we did one cluster. Our chain two and our first one already exist. So what I need to put in here to finish off this round is simply two double crochets it back into that first corner to finish it out. Because now I have two clusters of three. And then slip stitch into the third chain of our chain five which is right here. So sneaky. But then we are set up and ready to start working in our next corner instead of having to slip stitch over or any extra stitches that we don't need. We're ready to go. And that was my first round with off white. So now we're going to start again with a corner. One, two, three, four, five. So remember that's a sing that's a double crochet and a chain two. And now we're going to put three double crochets in the corner. Two, three. Chain one. And we're going to jump over here to the first chain space. Double crochet. And then a front post triple crochet in the cluster that's straight below that spot, right here. And another double crochet in the chain space behind it. Chain one. That's our sequence all the way around. And there's my last double crochet with this color. Here's our corner with our chain five and three double crochets. So I need to add two more into this corner. Two more double crochets to finish that cluster. And then we want to slip stitch into our third chain. Now we finish off this color any way you wish. Knots don't show very much when you're adding extras, so I'm okay with doing that. I don't like knots, but it's okay right here because it's really not going to show very much. There's our corners, and there's where we're starting our color changes. I'm going to move on to Baby Sunshine which is the next shade of yellow up right here. You see how quickly this works? We're almost done. Did two rounds with white, two rounds with off-white. Now I'm going to do two rounds with Baby Sunshine. Pick any corner you wish and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. If it helps, you can mark that third chain so it's easy to find when it's time to do your slip stitch. I'll mark it this time. And then again, we want to put in three double crochets. That's our first full cluster in this corner. And a chain one. We're going to jump over to the next available chain space with the double crochet. 
and then a triple front post triple crochet which will go into the center of the cluster that is straight below it. I told you this was easy. It is not complicated. With the chain one in between, do the same thing here. Now in the center one is a little bit different because now we are one that's straight below us is actually one of our front post triple crochets. So we go around it. with our triple crochet. So now those two are connected. And a double crochet again to complete our cluster. So that's how they start to stack right in here. So they're stacking. Chain one and jump to the next chain space with a double and then a front post triple crochet. And a double to complete our set of three. Chain one and another corner. And that again is the sequence all the way around. All the way around. And here's my last cluster. There's a double crochet, a front post triple. And a double chain one in between and now we're at our corner again so we have our first cluster plus our chain five so in this space right here we'll have to add two more double crochets because that turns that into a corner we have two double crochets here and a chain three so into the ch third chain that we marked here we're just going to slip stitch And there's your corner. Easy, easy peasy. So if you don't need to marker and you can find your third stitch easily, easily enough, go for it. I'm not going to use a marker because it makes a lot of noise on my work area here. That's our first round with Baby Sunshine. Every color is going to get two rounds. So I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and three double crochets into the corner. Chain one and continue all the way around working in every chain space. Told you this was easy. There's no reason for a whole lot of extra tutorial on this one because every round is the same. You're just adding some spaces. But I do want to get to the dark yellow so to the sunshine so we can see the difference between a four millimeter and a five millimeter with the exact same yarn this is Karen Simply Soft so do this all the way around again and I'll meet you back over at the corner and we're back to our original corner so chain one two double crochets into that corner chain space to finish that cluster and slip stitch into the third chain of the five. There now we're done with baby yellow, baby sunshine. To finish off for one more color. You can use this as many times as you want to with whatever however many colors you want. Just keep going. You could make a gigantic blanket out of this if you wanted to. Just keep going and going and going. And it doesn't have to be gradient colors like this. You can do that with any colors you want. So we're just going to start in the corner here and the exact same thing all the way around. So I imagine, let's say one, two, three, four, five. You probably have it by now, but I am going to finish off this yellow just so you can see. But this is a very simple pattern nothing difficult about a mosaic at all but it looks super cool so I'm gonna finish these next two rounds here as quickly as I can there's my first round of sunshine 
is complete, so I need to finish this corner with two double crochets and a slip stitch into the third chain right here. And we're going to do one more round and we'll compare the two. So one more round just like that. Exactly the same. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Three double crochets into the corner. Chain one and move on to all of your chain spaces. Use every chain space and continue your work. And here is my last two stitches. There's a chain and in this space right here we want to put our two double crochets to finish that cluster of three and slip stitch into the third chain. We'll leave those two behind right there. And we are done. This was my original four millimeter over here and this one is a five considerably bigger. That's what I did with the white one too. I used a five. Considerably bigger. So it's up to you how big you want your project to be. It obviously has a little bit more open space. This one is nice tight stitches. This one's a little bit more open and airy. So you can even go in between and do a four and a half if you think this one's too small and this one's too big, but there you go. This is not a complicated stitch at all. So don't be intimidated. This is super cute. Now I just have to weave in my ends and come up with a really fun project for all of these. I don't know what I'm going to make, but I will show it to you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Tell all your friends about me and stop back real soon. Thanks. Bye.